Nigeria's um, social media space has been heated in the last 48 hours for many unpalatable reasons. At the forefront being the death of Uwa Omozowa, a 22-year-old student of the University of Benin, who was raped and murdered in a church in Edo State, Nigeria. A number of Nigerian celebrities have lent their voices over the issue, calling for justice and a better system that protects women and the girl child. Now, popular Nigerian singer Tiwa Savage was very active as she started a movement with the hashtag, We Are All Tired. Um, in a series of tweets, she highlighted poor power supply, dilapidated hospitals, senseless killings, police brutality, rape, and other societal issues, telling the government, we are tired and things need to change. Hmm. I think this weekend was really draining yeah. emotionally for me. Um, at some point, I'll just log off, I log out, and mm. then you come back, you realize that somebody's telling another story, <clears throat> and it's even worse than the one you were running away yeah. from. Um, I think it's even more exhausting when you have to deal with accommodating diverse opinion, actually diverse opinion that are absolutely wrong and don't even, un and you realize that some people don't even understand what consent is or understand how deep the issue we are facing in Nigeria is. So um, my heart goes out to the family of um, Uwa. I hope that um, they find closure somehow, but um, there is a big issue. Oh, there, there, are, is. there are, there's a, is it our is there are problems in this country I, I have to agree with you when you said that it's been draining um this morning for some reason it was very hard for me to come to work because i kept thinking am i actually safe living alone am i actually safe am i the, god forbid am i the next hashtag like these people it's no longer what you did or what you didn't do what you dress who you it's like we're not protected in any way, not by the government, not by the citizens. It's easy to point fingers, but there's something inherently wrong with a lot of people. Um, and, and I think enough is enough. With the, with the violence against women, with police brutality, um, you, you, at first you think, oh, it's America and the history. Well, what's our own history? Why people are not here? What's the problem? Um, there's just so much hate, and I wish there was something that I could do about it. So yeah, I 100% stand with Tiwa that we are tired. I'm very tired, very exhausted. I feel very useless, like the problems are bigger than me. Yeah. And every time this thing comes to the table, I don't have anything fantastic to say because I feel like I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm not making any impact, if that makes sense. Like I, I want to just be able to change things, go to people's hearts and really change it. But how can I possibly do that? We are definitely tired and I, I applaud Tiwa Savage on this one because um, I think this is something that a lot of celebrities should be doing, like focus on societal issues. Even if it's like, let's have a day, like once in a month, we connect with your fans, talk to people, go on the street, find out what people, because people would tend to share all their problems with you because you're a public figure, regardless whether they know you or they don't know you. So you're in a position to actually speak to people and change lives. So if all celebrities should do this, maybe 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 not we may just get some of this um what's it called now hoodlums and um irresponsible boys that feel like it's okay to rape a woman without a consent and the saddest part of Uwazon was that this was a girl that was reading in church mm. not only was she trying to better her future by studying she was also in the house of god mm. and then you still perpetrated such an idiot's crime in the house of God, and you think you're going to go unpunished? Mm. I just hope that justice catches up with everybody that was a member, whether you're the watch guy or you mm. heard about it and you have not told anyone, mm. or you were passing by and you heard someone scream, mm. God, we punish all of you. <laughs> I, li I like that part. you put it that way, yeah. and I hope that that will, be, that will serve as a call for anyone who has any lead that can help the policemen right now, because mm. um, from what is in the news and the communication they are passing, they kind of don't have anything concrete to link them to those that they would say um, did um, this hideous crime. But of course, investigation is still ongoing. But away from that and looking at rape in a larger context as regards to Nigeria, I would want to say that us now as a people, I think we need to do better. Because um, coming online and having hashtags, I'm taking this way back to 2016, if I can remember correctly. And that was when we had the first ever, say, online bloggers going all the way out to do a Say No to Rape campaign. And I was largely part of that. And this is 2020, how many years down the line? And our policies is still the same. Nothing is going on regarding um, the laws and trying to change it to at least make sure when there is a case like this, um, justice is at least served, right? 
Um, so I just want to speak to the conscience of our lawmakers. I don't know what laws or bills they are proposing and what they are looking into or what their priorities are, which is why on Friday when we had the conversation, it was really heartbreaking to talk about what the wife of um, the Kaduna State Governor said on Twitter, that she doesn't have anything like First Lady in her bow. Yes, I think there's a lot of controversy when it comes to the roles of First Lady in Nigeria, but you are a woman, you should be able to sit your husband down or sit the people down to say what are the steps that need to be taken to make, make sure these policies or these laws are amended so that when these crimes, I mean, it's not going to be a case of there will be a crime of rape, but if there is a crime and there is, um, what's it called now, due consequence for this action, I'm sure a lot of people will be able to seek help if they truly need help mm -hmm. or at least stay away from doing things like yeah. that. So I think we all need to do better and start asking the right questions what do we need to do to make sure that this law that makes it easy or yeah. the system that makes it easy for a rapist to go free is changed and and gets better so I think the little, I the little that I have followed in regards to the um, bro probing that was happening with the le lecturers and students which is a f in, in a way is a form of, yeah. of, of rape I think when I saw that was when I realized that yeah we we have we are in the wrong hands for sure because I know they kicked that bill out and they said that it's stigmatizing male lecturers, lecturers. so Imagine. people are trying I think a lot of people are trying a lot of NGOs a lot of um, non-government, uh, non-privatized spaces. People are, as individuals, I guess, because we can't rely on anyone else to do it. But the problem is really big. And it seems like we, they don't want that change. This rape thing that was screaming, if you look at all the people that have the power to do something about it, they haven't done anything about it. And as for me personally, I'm going to take that silence as saying that you like what is going on. You like oh, the you're fact even that, a perpetrator. Yes, so. you like the fact that you are being protected. Because for me, if you're going to protect somebody else, you, you want to be protected as well. Like, why would I want to protect a rapist if I'm, if I myself, I'm not a rapist? So I think that enjoying the the vicious cycle that's going on. If you look at them, the, the, I've given figures on this table many times. The amount of people who get assaulted, who get raped, but that are children and women are large and there's more women in Nigeria than men mm. so that means that we have a lot of men who are abusers and they like the and, and it's a man's world is definitely a man's country most of the the part the lawmakers are men so it, it, you can't it's hard to convince me that this isn't a battle of genders and that men the people who are in, in power, power love this thing <sighs> Okay, um, I think there is a subtle protest going on today. Um, some people, uh, or people who are interested, are supposed to wear black and carry out um, a placard uh, to just yeah. write, say no to rape or whatever message is strong and take a picture and post on social media. So if um, you want to, then well, go ahead.